gaining a maximum of 300 points. Let's have a look at our highlights now for race number 10 of the championship, the WD40 Phillip Island 500 Part 2. Race number 10 of the championship, and it was a very good start initially by David Reynolds on the outside, but he just couldn't hold on up there like Jamie Whitcup did yesterday. So by the time they got to turn two, it was McLaughlin who prevailed. Michael Caruso got two wheels on the grass on the run through one on cold tyres. Unfortunately for James Courtney, the only did not finish result of the day, triggered a safety car, this car with a drive problem. Then there was a flurry of early pit stops. It changed the sequencing for many of the teams. They needed to split their strategies to be able to deal with it. Unfortunately for Scotty McLaughlin, he got caught in the train of cars here. So when you stop and consider the fight back in the process and having to slot back into the traffic there, they've had a pretty fruitful and profitable afternoon. Michael Caruso has been very quick today. In fact, Nissan have done a nice job. Millimetre perfection arriving in the pit lane for Scotty McLaughlin and big pressure from David Reynolds all through this weekend. He was 11th fastest on Friday in practice for him to recover as a team and for that group to recover as a team and keep the pressure up on Scotty McLaughlin was fantastic. We knew it would be joined. Reynolds had the control of the race, but he was being absolutely abused by Scotty McLaughlin, left, right and centre. He had pace. And then just as he did the day before, with the scalpel sliced, down the inside goes McLaughlin. He gets the job done nicely and takes the lead of the race. Now, unfortunately for David Reynolds, he didn't quite have the car balance early in the tyre life. We also saw a vigorous battle going on for the miners between Rick Kelly, who was on the podium second yesterday, and Fabian Coulthard, who was working really hard to recover from that penalty with the out of limits rear wing on that car. But in the end, out of turn 12, two from two after 57 laps and a great celebration for Scott McLaughlin who has absolutely owned Phillip Island this weekend. A great performance.